Okay, so look, let's do The Painted Bird, which is this unremittingly harrowing drama based on the novel by uh, Jerry Kaczynski, who wrote Being There. This is written and directed by uh, Václav Mahul. And it's the story of a young boy uh, played by Petr Kotlar, who is wandering the barren landscape of, uh, of Eastern Europe during World War II, going from place to place, from community to community, suffering unspeakable uh, horrors the kind of, that are a symbol of the wider atrocities playing out uh, around him. And this, the central thing, that the title of Painted Bird, comes from an incident in which somebody has a bird that's captured, they put paint on its wings, they release it back into its flock, and the flock attacks it because it's seen as an outsider. And the film became very controversial because when it played at the Venice Film Festival, there were re very, very divided reports about it. One set of reports said that half of the press screening, of the first press screening, walked out. The other report said that when the film played um, you know, properly, that there was a standing ovation that went on for insert very long period of time uh, here. Um, the film is it's clearly very artfully made. It's shot in black and white by Vladimir Smutny, who um, who shot Kolya, and it, it is it is an extraordinary, beautiful work in a really strange way in terms of the, the way the visuals are constructed. I mean, people have compared it to you know to Tarkovsky and to and to Dreyer, um, and it is a, it is a, a thoroughly uh, you know a, a horrifying uh, depiction of man's inhumanity to man as it kind of proceeds from one hellish encounter to the next however i think that that thing about the split uh in you know some people who just thought it was just too much and just a cat level horrors and those people who thought it was a m major work of art i think it, it, it it's it's both and neither of those two things firstly it's nearly three hours long and i did find that it became sort of numbingly relentless i mean after what i didn't have for example the impact of a film like uh hungarian drama son of saul it did after a while just start to to to, to, to wear me down the other thing that's strange about it is that it creates this very, very authentic uh, world. And then you get these sort of star, because of this, it, it, each role is sort of appears fairly briefly other than the central boy. But then you get these star appearances from people like Harvey Keitel and Julian Sands, um, whose voices incidentally have had to be dubbed into the inter-Slavic language that's used in the film. I found a, um, a, an interview with the director in which he said, I really pushed Julian Sands, Harvey Keitel, their characters had to speak the inter-Slavic language. It was difficult for them. I still had to dub all of them because for an American actor like Keitel, Keitel it was impossible to make the required sounds of the inter-Slavic language. And what that seems to imply is that they've been chosen more for their star power than for their suitability for the role. And from my point of view, it just took me out of the drama. It's like, oh, that's that's a dubbed Harvey Keitel. And, you know, that's Julian Sands. What, why is this happening? So I think what you end up with is something that on the one hand, you know, yes, it is, it is visually um, and formally an impressive work in the way that it's constructed. I thought it was unremittingly uh, uh, harrowing. There's an awful lot of kind of... Um, you know, animals being treated really cruelly and an awful lot more of uh, human beings being treated really cruelly. And in the end, I found myself thinking, well, it's somewhere between artwork and endurance test. And I don't think it's a masterpiece. I think it's an interesting attempt to, uh, to, to film that book. But uh, for me, in the end, I just ended up thinking, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I've now kind of emotionally disengaged from this, not just because of the relentless quality of it, but because I think actually the film also had things in it which broke the illusion, the spell of the film. Anyway, as I said, um, it is a film which has divided people and I, it has its great defenders and it has those who really do, don't like it. It's called The Painted Bird. It is available both in cinemas uh, and online now. I might give it a miss, Mark, if that's all right with you. Yeah, you know, I absolutely knew that that was going to be the case. I, there was no part of me that thought that you were going to head down to the uh, Odeon Holloway Road and check this out.